Today is a very important day. We're off to see our great pal Kelvin Fletcher, um, a new entrant to farming. We're going to give him a little bit of support in the form of a new ram. I think it's an early Christmas present. Anton the Tup has got loads of miles left on the clock. Anton doesn't get as much uh, use as he used to. We've got lots of his daughters in the flock. So sending him to Kelvin to, uh, to improve his genetics and give Anton um, a lovely life is a nice thing to do and a nice Christmas present. Well, I've heard it's a lovely farm and I'm sure he's gonna settle right in. Um, it's nice to see a new young lad uh, joining the industry, uh, forging a future um, on the farm with Liz and uh, it'd be great to catch up with them again and, uh, and give them the gift of Anton. Anton knows that something special is going to happen. He's making his way to the uh, the door and we're going to try and coax him in there. Anton is full of beans, he's frisky, he's vocal. We're heading off to Kelvin's now and hopefully meet some new girlfriends. Go on then, here you go. Right, let's get off. that Kelvin doing springtime on the farm with us was maybe the catalyst for his interest in becoming a farmer himself. Well, if you remember, he'd never lambed a sheep before. You know, he, he was a little bit squeamish, uh, I seem to remember at the time. I remember springtime year one. I've got to say, I was petrified. I think during all the stress of, of springtime, to have a friendly person like Kelvin, sort of holding our hand through yeah. it, uh, encouraging us on, it, it made all the difference. And if we can do the same for him now on his, on the start of his farming adventure, then it's a nice thing to do. It's repaying a debt. It is. Well, I think we're nearly there, Dave. It's a nice rolling countryside, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? I think Anton's going to be very happy roaming these moors and uh, looking after his ladies. <laughs> well, he's done a great job for us. I'm sure he's going to do a great job for Kelvin. I hope so. Uh, this is going to give a whole new lease of life to him. It's going to put a spring in his step, and he's hopefully going to produce lots of lamps for springtime. Oh. Right, we've brought you one of our Dutch spotted tubs. It's called Anton. Anton. Yeah. <laughs> Anton the yeah. It's I'm, a good mover. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he moves just as well as Anton does. Right, um, okay. he's, he's a tuck we've used quite a bit. We've got quite a few of his gimmers in the flock and we right. think it would be nice to spread his genes into your flock. Yes, excellent. And he's a, what's he again? A, he's a pedigree uh, Dutch spotted ram. Dutch spotted ram. Well, I'm excited to see him. Let's right. have a look at him, eh? Well, I hope you like him, Kelvin. So what do you think, Kelvin? Lovely. Very nice, uh, very nice brown. Mm. Nice, lovely. Yeah. Very good. It's got a similar head, looks wise. It looks like, if you can forget the body, yeah. and obviously the black face, but the actual shape of the head does look quite like a Texel, doesn't it? Does. it? They're the rival to the Texel and the Beltex in the UK now. They're the new kid on the block. They were the champion at the Yorkshire Show last year, and we've got a flock of them that's uh, that's growing fast. Well, mentioning Texels, I've actually, that's what we have, a Texel. And he's a little bit lonely. He's got best part of 40 years to go out. So he needs some help, does he? he needs, well, I don't say he needs some help, but it'll be interesting to see. And he'll throw out a different lamb, won't he? Exactly. Different coloured lamb. So yeah. And the he... competition is healthy, isn't it? <laughs> he needs a wingman. He needs a wingman. <laughs> and this is the lad. Exactly. Anton's the man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, shall we introduce Anton from Barnsley to his new pal? Yes, yes. Let's right. do it. Let, let Anton see the Texel. Exactly. Oh, hold on, Dave. As you can see, Kelvin, there's plenty of fire in his belly. Right. Tell you what, I forget how strong they are. They are strong, aren't they? He's a unit. Whoa! Whoa! Thought you were gonna mount me then. Here you go. Right. Right. I think we've got two cracking tubs here, Kelvin. This one, what's he called, Arnie? Arnie. Arnie is in perfect working condition. He's fit but not fat. It looks like he's ready for the job. Yeah. And uh, and Anton is a proven sire, and I think between them you're gonna have some cracking lambs. Yeah, yeah. Right, lads. I think these two are getting on. Should we uh, let them see the ladies? Yes. Which way? Up there. You can tell Kelvin's a proper farmer. Bail abandon on gates. Like being at home. Well, the user here, they're very keen. 
Galvin, are you going to do the honours? I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, I won't lie, but I'm more excited than anything. Right, right, go on. Go on, go lad, on lad, son. Man, he's a lot faster than Anton. He is, isn't he? Anton's a, <laughs> he's a small mover, to say the least. He's a cruiser. I think he's going to let the girls come to him. Yeah, he's, a, he's probably, well, he's older, isn't he? He's more experienced. He knows not to be run, running around like a young one there, so. It is a big day. I think for anybody, it's a big day. It's when you send your top out. Certainly for me, if a, you know, an inexperienced farmer, it's still all very new and, and quite, you know, I'm, I'm like a little kid here. Kelvin, I'm casting my mind back now to the first series of springtime when we first filmed with you. Yeah. You know, we were we were TV novices and, and still are. And I was a farmer novice, I didn't have a clue. Exactly, but you held our hand through our TV journey. And yeah. if we can help you in any small way uh, with any advice, then please feel free to pick up the phone. That's, thank you, yeah. I mean, you have done already. I've, I've, I've spoke to you a couple of times and uh, you give me some valuable information. So. That's all part of it, I think, when you're learning and you're just starting out. Well, I'm really pleased. Anton's gone to a really good home. I hope, uh, well, I hope he does some work. I'm sure he will. Thank you, Dave. He's, uh, he looks at home anyway, that's the main thing. It looks to be really happy here, Kelvin, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time before there's the pitter-patter of tiny lamb's feet. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. Uh, we're really delighted that Anton's found a forever home with Kelvin. We're so grateful for him for mentoring us through our TV journey and to send it up to him to uh, help him along the way is a really satisfying thing to do. Yeah, thank you very much, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.